Whatever happened to the gold up to the good old days? What good old days? Here we are at the office of Dr. Matthias Knotts, my mentor and teacher. Tell me everything I know. Dr. Knotts, how are you today? Excellent. Come come this way. Explain come, I'm coming this way. Explain this explain this to us. What's the uh, Dutch connection between Toronto and Amsterdam. Like, what is it? Like, you know Xavier Hollander. You introduced me to her. How did you get to know her? You were my teacher, my mentor. Uh, went to your school, and all of a sudden, I find myself going to Holland all the time. And uh, we have this thing in common. And Toronto is sister cities with Amsterdam. So, how did you know Xavier in the seventies? I met I met Xavier. And in tell the truth. When she was living at the carriage house. And I met her at the LeBaron Steakhouse on Elm Street. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. If it had been any other way, I would have been only too happy to tell you. And uh, we, we became friends, and uh, she wanted somebody to speak Dutch to. And so we used to talk, and then she moved back to Holland, and we kind of lost touch. And then you, of course, met her since, and uh, you've become very close friends. Do you, do you think that she looks like my mother? Absolutely. Do you think she has a personality like my mother? Yes. Do you think they're, they're they're like like sisters separated at birth, and I'm like some kind of strange hybrid? I, yeah, I think you're a hybrid that's caught in between two. She's still here, your mother's in heaven, but they're two of a kind. So what what about uh, your practice here in Toronto? What kind of work do you do here? I'm an osteopath and an acupuncturist. Absolutely fabulous, and you are known to be a celebrity doctor. You have many celebrity patients. Uh, quite a few. And how about uh, Holland? What do you think about the medical uh, pra like in Holland? Like everything is pretty uh, herbal, and you know people don't smoke as much. They they smoke weed, and and everything's very liberal. Do you think that that kind of system is going to come to Canada full full on? Never happened. Why? Because I don't think the um, I'm saying this very politely. I don't think the British um, background that came into this country is ever going to let go. And their thinking is diametrically opposed to the way we are in Holland. Uh, the idea of doing things and letting people do what's right for them without hurting others, I don't think really fits into the mold of what goes on in this country. And, we, and it is considered a sister country still to, to England. Uh, you know, the, le the legal system here is based on British common law. And I don't see that. I don't see that changing in the foreseeable future at all. So you think it's the British influence, not the American, that's influencing? No, America? I don't think the American influence has has as much influence as people think. I think it's all British. So, so basically, people are going to be forced to smoke cigarettes and go to jail if they smoke pot, and they're going to be smoke, or they're going to be, you know, drinking alcohol, and they're not going to be able to do mushrooms and stuff like that. Correct. For a long time. I don't see it changing because our British, our, our legal system here is British common law. And uh, I don't think that's ever going to become a forgiving thing, period. Oh, what a drag. Thank you so much for your professional opinion, Dr. Matthias Judith Knotts at the Canadian Examining Board of Healthcare Practitioners. And uh, any other things you'd like to add, Dr. Knotts? Well, I just wish that they could become as advanced here as they are in my, in my home country. I think that it would benefit the country tremendous. But, you know, hopefully there will be some give, maybe not in my lifetime, but in yours. I hope you're right, Dr. Knotts. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure.